Welcome to Analytics with Nux. In this session, we're going to see what is data flows in SSIS, and we're going to demonstrate um, uh, two scenarios. One is loading a file from, uh, I mean, simple file into a database, and moving a data from database to another database. Let us try to explore it in this video. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the notification. So we are in SSIS uh, package, right? We have a SSIS package now, package one. So the first step is to use data flow task here. So this is your primary step in the control flow. We are going to use data flow task. You can expand it. These tasks, we will see it later. But for now, it is data flow task. Drag and drop, everything is drag and drop. As I said before, uh, in order to do a data transformation or data movement, you need to have a connection string. So the first scenario is like uh, loading a data from file into a database. I need to create connection to a file then i need to create a connection to the database as well so i have uh, two uh, files here like over here source i mean let us try to uh, take uh, this particular file what is this name so i have uh, the customer id name and short name and i have these uh, names over here right so these are uh, this is simple two records i just want to load it in ssis how to do it let us try to do it so first we need to create a connection string here right click flat file connection it can be a, if it is excel you need to choose excel in my case it is in csv use flat file connection give a proper name customer file then uh, just browse uh, to this uh, particular folder and point to this particular file this is fine and there are a lot of uh, other uh, parameters as well uh, you need to choose appropriately uh, we will come to it a uh, little later for uh, as uh, this is our first task we'll skip this one as such i will just want to highlight column names in the first data row so if the csv contains a column name in the first data row then you can go for it otherwise you can skip it right so if if we are unchecking you see this customer id name is basically the column name that will also appear as a data so in order to make it as a first row you need to check this one and also there is an option to rows to skip there are sometimes uh, you may have a data in your uh, source like um, uh, some headers right i mean uh, uh, this is the customer data and reported on something like that some text will be like prior to this so in order to avoid such things i mean skip those rows you can use these options okay so these are the certain things so you i want to highlight for now then you can see uh, when you click on the columns whether it has read properly or not okay that is what you can see it here and you have a row delimiter and column delimiter so in the x uh, csv we didn't specify anything we choose the csv but ssis has picked up correctly right this is the customer name how it picked up it's based on the delimiter right so if you have a different delimiter like semicolon it will not pick up anything you see everything will be available in the same column so you have a delimiter i mean this uh, data contains uh, data as a comma okay that is why you need to choose this comma and do the refresh it will uh, read accordingly right each column it has identified based on the column delimiter this is what about this particular tab then you can change the data types here for now we will leave it this, this is as uh, yeah, we already seen just a preview of it just click close so now we have created a connection string for the customer file we also need to create the connection string for the database 
let me show the database here so i'm going to use uh, ssis demo database where this is created uh, newly for this purpose now you do not have any tables here i can expand the tables there is no tables here we will create a table from the ssis itself and load it here that is what we are going to do so now uh, in order to create that table i mean uh, if the table already exists or uh, the database uh, uh, we need to create right i mean to say uh, the file connection it is specific to the single file in case of databases the tables you should not create a connection string for the table instead you need to create a connection string for the database so in you for a single database single connection so you can access any of the tables inside that database that is the concept so let us try to create either you can go for oledb or edu.net for simplicity i will go for um, oledb now so server name uh, i put dot since i have local so choose your uh, server name accordingly here okay so uh, let me get this if you want this is my server name i can put it here then choose the database ssis demo okay test connection text connection succeeded so you have created the uh, connection string that is for my laptop this is my connection string for the ssis demo database so we are fine with this step now in order to load into from read from file into database so i came inside the data flow task so now we are in control flow click on the data flow task so we are in data flow task okay you can rename it if you want just rename it as uh, load csv file into db just for our understanding double click on it now you can see the data flow task now inside data flow task what you need to do as the data flow task is meant for actual etl the it actually does your etl so the it is the heart of ssis data flow is your heart of ssis since it will extract transform it and load it so how, where it will extract it will extract from the sources so the different types of connection string you created these are different types of connection based on that you need to choose appropriate source so in our case flat file is our source choose the flat file source here then uh, your destination is going to be your OLEDB, right here we created OLEDB. so choose OLEDB connection this is how you need to start then so this is the flat file source and uh, so here what you are defining you are designing uh, you are going to read from the source and then load it into a database right this is what you are doing for that you already created the connection string this is good so let us choose this one if you have multiple files it will automatically prompt you have only one file here file connection so automatically it came just see it everything is fine you can see the column name only here you cannot see the data i think you can see the data by previewing here okay so here you can skip some of the columns if you do not want okay then uh, choose uh, okay okay and until you choose okay it will not uh, prompt so this is cust source uh, cust source file something like that then you need to point it here okay this is the flow okay from here to here this is what you are saying now click on it now you can see here uh, you you are prompted for a connection then you need to choose a table in the database if the table already exists then you can go and create but i am going to do here as a new so how it does it is a very beautiful future like uh, from the source it will pick up this column name and the data types and it will suggest you one table so if you click on ok it will create with this table name instead you can choose customer info okay so it will give you the script proper script so i do not want to this data type then you can ch change it here for now for simplicity let us keep it here as such 
click on OK. Now you need to do the mapping. What is this? This is your source that came from the source and this is available columns in my target. So this column should be loaded here. This column should be loaded here. Okay. That is what you are doing here. Either you can do it like this or you can choose here or you can ignore it. Okay. This is what the actual data flow is. Now once you click on it, load, load into DB. That's it. So you are done with your design of your first data flow. Let us try to uh, run it and um, load the data into our database. Now you didn't run it. Now you go and see in your database whether the table is exists. That sh table should be created. It is not created at the runtime. As soon as you press enter, now you see this table is created. Okay. Now when you press select star from top thousand star from here there is no data okay you see here um, the data is empty because the only the table is created the data is not loaded since our package is not run okay the so people some people confuse like only during the runtime the table will create no when as soon as you press on okay here the table will be created there so how to execute it so either if it is a single task you can go and uh, do it as execute task or you can do it in execute package both the way you can do it let us try to run the package by right clicking the task execute task so it will be too quick let us go and see inside you can see number of rows it has passed the two rows it has been passed here you can see in the diagrammatic view that is over here uh, let me zoom out so from here it has read two rows then it is loaded here the execution is success and we will go and see it here let us see it here so we already loaded the data here since we have executed it so this is what we achieved now is a process one I mean step one right so from the file we have loaded into database so the scenario two is like after loading into a database um, we need to load it into load again into another database right so let us go for a scenario here in this case uh, this is the table we have created from here I will create it from a Naga store here I want to store the customer data for that uh, either I can uh, uh, create the table from the SSIS or I can pre create the table in the target then I can load it so I'm following the second approach I will pre create the table in the target that this is the best approach actually so you can have a control of uh, you can um, uh, control of creating the uh, data types you can modify it constraints primary keys everything you can create it here that is the this is the best practice so now again in the Naga store I am creating the customer info now the second step is like I want to move the data from here into this database so let us try to query it here I have created already select star from the customer info I dragged it from here that's fine now there is no data in the Nagastro database whereas you have data in the um, the uh, SSIS demo okay you can see here SSIS demo two records over here so these two records I want to move in some other database it can be in some other server as well right so this is my laptop I do not have another server instance so I'm loading from one database to another database so here what is the thing you need to do again you need to go for uh, another database so whether you can do it after this no because when you have a destination there won't be any other task you can do destination is a final step here so for that you need to come back here load cust info into 
db okay so in this case my oldb source okay in this case my oldb is source that i mean uh, my source is my database i am over here and i need to create connection string for my target target is my another database right let me put that then go for um, naga store test connection perfect all right click okay so my target is my low source cust okay and oldb i need to choose destination here load customer okay now here what i need to choose here you can see multiple options so for ssis it won't understand whether it's a source or target you need to choose so to refine what i'm trying to say see you are creating a connection it, it, we are not saying it's a ta for target or it's for a um, source right so in this ssis demo for this particular task it acts as a destination whereas for this particular data flow task this ssis demo acts as a source so connection strings are common for source and target okay so you need to choose appropriately that is what i want to highlight now again here <coughs> i will choose target as my naga store here i already choose this table created this table instead of creating new i have chosen it because i have created it in the uh, naga store already now what you need to do now let us try to run it the task alone now this also succeeded two rows moved now let us go to uh, naga store here we have run it already this doesn't reply anything now the data is moved you can see the results in the naga store database i hope uh, you understand uh, the basic core concepts behind the connection string the task data flow task what is the source and what is the target the different columns everything together let us try to explore more in our upcoming sessions if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset